the space is tiny, $300, and you had a really good power system that would serve you really well and took up no space whatsoever. It's, I think it's something most of us should consider. Hi everyone, welcome back to my next video. Well, I've been talking a lot lately about USB devices. For a few of you, maybe you don't need to buy a complete solar system. You can uh, just get by with USB devices. Right up here, I have a video of just USB devices, and a lot of you will find that they're enough. Obviously, they're not going to run a refrigerator, they're not going to run a stove or an air conditioner or anything like that. But just for your household things you use on a daily basis, I think you might find they're all you need. So I did all the videos on devices, but how are you going to charge those devices? You've got to have batteries, and I showed you the batteries. But you've also got to have solar or something to charge the devices. You can just plug them into your cigarette lighter plug while you drive. That will be nowhere near enough. It would take forever to charge one of those big bricks uh, with just cigarette lighter plug. You need a solar panel to charge it, or you need a 100, 110 volt outlet. So today we're just looking at solar panels for USB devices. So the way I would do it, if I were going to be on a, um, a, a uh, USB diet, and that's going to be my solar system, is I'd get two of these batteries. These are each 28,000 milliamp hour and they're both reasonably fast charging and output charging. Those are the two things you want the most. PD is power delivery, and that's really important because you can get really, really fast charging out of power delivery, and that makes a big difference. So uh, they started coming out with more and more uh, devices that would take 25 watts of power delivery, 45 watts of power delivery, and then they came out with 60 watts. A lot of laptops, charge at 60 watts. So you could just take a USB-C cord with one on each end, plug it into one and plug it into the other, and you're charging at 60 watts. That's fantastic. But the bigger laptops would charge at 100 watts. Most of them will charge up around 100. So then they came out with a PD100. And that's, uh, I think right now that's the fastest. I'm not 100% sure of that. So what you want in a brick is fast charging. Don't buy it if it's not, because it'll take forever to charge, and that's no good. You want it to be able to take at least 65 watts PD power delivery. Very important that you do that. Then you can charge an item in hours that would take you days at USB A1. Literally, and I, I'm not exaggerating. Now, when we think about the solar panels, it's also important to think about that they have USB-A ports, USB-C ports, and most importantly, that they have USB-C power delivery ports. Now, most of them will just have one USB-C port, and it will be power delivery. So we're going to look at all of these panels I have here. Some of, I have one that's 25 watts, 45 watts, and the full 60 watts. So this is a 25,000 milliamp hour battery, which is good really good, and it has a fold-out panel. The panels are only six watts. It would, take very, it would take all day, multiple days, to get this charged, but it's something. It's certainly better than nothing. It can be charged itself and charged out with a USB-C, and it has two USB-A ports. Now, it will only do 15 watts, five volt at th uh, three amps. So it's only doing 15 watts, but 15 watts is a whole lot better than nothing. It's a whole lot better than the old USB original ones. The, the brand name on this is Adtop, A-D-D-T-O-P. And this was $38, and it had a 40% off coupon. Does Right now, I just checked. So that'd be $16 off. This thing is dirt, dirt cheap. If you just buy it for the battery, then it's worth it. It's more than worth it. And the solar panels, they're just throwing them in as a, as a bonus. So this Adtop is something I would... Think about buying because the price is so good and it's really convenient. So here's three, 28,800 and 25,000. So this is cheaper than either of these and comes with a solar panel. So this is something I'd give serious to, thought to. This does not have power delivery or accept or give out power delivery, but it's that tiny a solar panel. You just, that's what you got to do. Okay, so this is how you're going to do them. And I do like having two of them. One of them you hook up to your solar panel 
all day. It's charged by the end of the day completely. And the other one you use that day, the next day you swap them. And you're charging the dead one, you're using the live one. And that should work for you really well for a long time. So here, this is a device, a solar panel I've had a long time. It's got a pretty, pretty durable. So there's a 21 watt solar panel. Now this one, and it's made by NewTek, and New Tech no longer makes this 21 watt. They now make a 28 and it's, it's actually the same price. So you would want to buy, the, the, this currently is a 28 watt. You can see it has uh, good grommets. This only has USB-A ports. Now this next panel is the first series panel. It's a 40 watt uh, fold out. It's pretty small. You can see this is a very small box. It's fairly light. You're going to fit this in your car without a problem. And it's 40 watts. You're starting to get into some seriously useful wattage. Now remember, no solar panel ever, almost ever, puts out its full wattage. So polar uh, solar panel says it puts out 100 watts, you would expect 80 watts at best. Uh, that's the nature of the solar panel industry. They test them under perfect conditions, and you are never going to use one of these things under perfect conditions. So you're never going to get that laboratory tested amount. So it just folds out. It's very high quality material. I think this is going to last a very, very long time. To get 40 watts out of these small panels, there's a lot of them. So USB quick charge, QC3 output. That's what you want to look for is quick charge 3 output. It puts out 5 volt at 3 amps, 15, that's 15 watts. 9 volts at 2 amps, that's 18 watts. And 12 volt at 1.5 amps, so that would be 12 uh, 18. That's still only 18. The DC output uh, is 19 volts. It's got a little DC port uh, at 2.1 amps, so that's 40. That's your 45 watts. The USB-C PD power delivery two output is 40 watts. So it's that's why it's a 40 watt solar panel because it puts out 40 watts of power delivery. This also is IP67 rated. So that means it can take a lot of abuse. It can take a fair amount of water. Don't submerge it. I mean, that's just silly. Don't even think about that. But if this got left out in the rain, it probably wouldn't have any impact on it at all. And uh, it also is uh, protected against dust intrusion and water intrusion. That's what IP67 means. And so this is a very durable, rugged piece of equipment. I would expect it to last you for years and years. And it has a 12 volt outlet a USB quick charge, a USB A quick charge, and the USB C 40 watt charge. Okay, so this is something to give serious thought to if you need tiny, 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 tiny space. All right, the next one we're going to look at is this Blavor 60 watt panel. And this is a pretty big panel, but it's putting out 60 watts. And like most of these, this and this is good quality. I think the fabric and everything looks pretty good. Oh, one of the kind of unique things it has is an eight millimeter, which an awful lot, an awful lot. This is the most common uh, power stations use eight millimeters. So you could hook this 60 watt panel straight into your Jackery, for example. A lot of the Blue Eddies use uh, use uh, eight millimeter jacks. So this panel would would go directly into your um, your power station so you'll be charging it off of it 60 watts at a time. USB output 5 volt 3.4 amps that means it's close to 20 amps 12 volt uh, quick charge 3 24 watts that's a pretty fast charge the quick that's the USB A and then the USB C is 5 volt 3 amps 9 volt 3 amps 12 volt 3 amps 15 volt 3 amps and max PD is 45 watts. I have since then found the panel I think everyone should buy. It's a little more. It's 150 bucks. The panel I'm going to just show you right now. But 100 for a 60 water, this is going to be uh, a much better deal. Let's talk about it. Okay, this is a uh, this is a 12C van, and it's a 120 watt panel, and it's pretty small. Let me directly compare it uh, to this 60 watt. It's actually smaller. It is actually a little smaller than the 60 watt panel. And in a car, space is probably more, and this, anyone can handle this, it's not that heavy. Uh, 
but the quality on it seems real good. And the way they're getting it down so small is it's four, four panels. So this is a 120 watt panel, uh, which is, you know, most of you are going to want 100 or more. 120 is a good, decent amount to start with. Uh, if you're using just USB devices, this is more, this is all you would ever need. You can charge a couple USB devices at once because you have 120 watts. And it's putting out probably 80, 90, 100 watts. You can run the PD and something else at the same time. So you could be charging two bricks at the same time and charging them pretty fast. Because this has 60 watt power delivery uh, and it's, you know, if there's sun, you're probably bringing in 80, 90, 100 watts because it's a 120 watt panel. You could pay, you could pay, do all of that power delivery, full charge. So uh, then you could plug something else into the quick charge three uh, USB A outlet and you're quick charging two different items. And so that's what counts is that you could got a little bit of sun during the day, you're charging the maximum amount and a 120 watt panel allows that. Plus, well, it does not have MC4s, it does have this multi prong. And this is an Anderson, an XT60, a, I believe that's a 2.5, and I believe that's a 5.5. So I tested it by charging this brick off of this, and it charged at PD60, which means this got done in three, four hours on a good Sunday. This got done in three or four hours. Again, if you do the two of these at once, one day you have this thing completely charged, your other ones didn't completely charge, you swap them, you can just go on swapping them back and forth. You'd have almost unlimited USB solar power. Well, the fact that it has a USB-C with a 60 power delivery makes it a game changer if you're depending on USB devices. So I think this is the king. Uh, it's 150 bucks, and you're going to have to spend between 50 and $80 per brick. Those are the things you're looking for. The biggest milliamp hour number you can get the most, uh, the biggest PD, which is probably 60. I don't think you'll find any that'll take 100. And so if you get those two things on a brick, you're doing really good. And you're gonna spend, for one like that, you're probably gonna spend 70 to 100 bucks. So to me, this is the ideal solution. If you don't have the money or the space or the desire to have a full solar system, you just wanna use USB devices. I think this is the ultimate answer. You can have a 120 watt solar panel, 17 pounds, very small, a couple of bricks, you're always charging one and then the other one's full and you're swapping back and forth. And with this panel, you can be charging uh, full speed, 60 PD and another, another brick at the same time. Imagine if you had three of these bricks. The space is tiny. Uh, I think the, one of these was $40. So you get three of these, it'd be $140, $150 for this, $300 and you had a really good power system that would serve you really well and took up no space whatsoever. It's, I think it's something most of us should consider unless you just need and want all the other devices that a power solar power system can give you. Okay, I hope this helped you, that this gave you some ideas of what you could do with, uh, for power. Uh, if it did, I hope you'll like us on YouTube, subscribe to the channel, hit that thumbs up button, and we'll talk to you later. And remember, Die with many amazing memories and not with unfulfilled dreams. I wish I would have, I could have, I should have. Live your best quality life today. We'll talk to you later.